Welcome to the Love Language Discovery Quiz. In our quest for meaningful connections, understanding the unique ways we express and receive love is paramount. Developed from the insightful work of Dr. Gary Chapman, the concept of love languages unveils the diverse manners in which individuals experience love, offering a window into the emotional needs and preferences that shape our relationships. Embark on a journey of discovery. As you take this quiz, remember that it's common to resonate with more than one love language. The questions are designed to reflect a range of situations and preferences, helping you uncover your primary love languages. Each language holds the key to more fulfilling and understanding relationships. Let's begin this enlightening journey to discover your unique language of love. 1. When feeling down, what makes you feel better? A. Supportive words. B. Someone doing something helpful. C. A thoughtful gift. D. Quality time with a loved one. E. A comforting hug or touch. 2. What gestures make you feel most appreciated? A. Compliments or praise. B. Acts of service. C. Surprise gifts. D. Undivided attention. E. Physical affection. 3. How do you show appreciation to others? A. Telling them how great they are. B. Helping with tasks. C. Giving them gifts. D. Spending quality time together. E. Giving a hug or pat on the back. 4. What makes a holiday special for you? A. Heartfelt cards or spoken words. B. Someone helping with the event. C. Receiving, giving thoughtful gifts. D. Being surrounded by loved ones. E. Embracing loved ones. 5. In a relationship, what do you crave the most? A. Hearing, I love you in affirmations. B. Partner doing things to make life easier. C. Small gifts showing thought. D. Spending uninterrupted time together. E. Physical closeness. 6. What surprises do you enjoy from your partner? A. A love note or heartfelt message. B. Chores or errands taken care of. C. An unexpected gift. D. A surprise date. E. A surprise hug or kiss. 7. What's your preferred birthday celebration? A. Heartwarming messages or calls. B. Someone taking care of the party details. C. Receiving personal gifts. D. A day out with close friends or family. E. Hugs and kisses from loved ones. 8. When you achieve something, how do you prefer to be recognized? A. Verbal praise or acknowledgement. B. Someone helping celebrate by organizing something. C. Receiving a gift as a symbol of achievement. D. Celebrating with a special outing. E. A congratulatory hug or high five. 9. How do you feel most connected to your friends? A. Through deep conversations. B. When they help you with a problem. C. When they give you something that reminds them of you. D. Spending time together doing shared activities. E. Through friendly hugs or pats on the back. 10. What's the most meaningful aspect of your holiday traditions? A. The holiday greetings and well wishes. B. The help and support in holiday preparations. C. Exchanging gifts. D. Quality family time. E. The physical warmth of family gatherings. 11. How do you prefer to be comforted when upset? A. Through reassuring words. B. By someone doing something to ease your burden. C. Receiving a thoughtful gift or gesture. D. Having someone spend time with you. E. Being held or hugged. 12. When feeling affectionate, what do you tend to do? A. Say loving things. B. 
Perform a kind act or task for them. C. Give a personal gift. D. Plan a special day or outing together. E. Show physical affection. 13. What's your favorite way to spend a weekend? A. Having meaningful conversations. B. Doing projects or errands together. C. Receiving or giving small surprises. D. A weekend getaway or cozy time at home. E. Relaxing together with cuddles or holding hands. 14. How do you express love during difficult times? A. Through encouraging words. B. Helping them manage their challenges. C. Giving something to cheer them up. D. Providing your undivided attention. E. Offering a reassuring touch. 15. What small daily gesture means a lot to you? A. A loving text or note. B. A small act of assistance. C. A little gift or token. D. Eating a meal together. E. A goodbye or welcome home hug. 16. How do you like to be greeted after being apart? A. With sweet words or a loving message. B. With a helpful gesture or taking over a task. C. With a little present. D. With dedicated time to catch up. E. With a hug or a kiss. 17. What's most important to you on an anniversary? A. Heartfelt words of love and commitment. B. Your partner doing something special or helpful. C. Receiving a meaningful gift. D. Spending the day doing something special together. E. Intimate physical connection. 18. When you want to show someone you care, what do you do? A. Write them a note or tell them how much they mean to you. B. Do something helpful for them. C. Get them a gift that has personal significance. D. Arrange a day to spend quality time with them. E. Give them a hug or a touch on the arm. 19. What kind of gift makes you feel most loved? A. A gift that includes a personal note or message. B. A gift that makes your life easier. C. Any gift that shows thought and effort. D. A gift that involves spending time together. E. A gift that involves physical closeness, like a massage. 20. What's most meaningful to you in a friendship or relationship? A. Open and affirming communication. B. When they help out in times of need. C. Thoughtful gifts on special occasions. D. Shared experiences and adventures. E. Comfortable and affectionate physical proximity. Tally the letters you selected most frequently. The letter with the highest count represents your primary love language. A. Words of affirmation. B. Acts of service. C. Receiving gifts. D. Quality time. E. Physical touch. Consider the top two or three results to get a broader understanding of your love language preferences. Congratulations on completing the Love Language Discovery Quiz. Understanding your love language is a key step towards building stronger, more fulfilling relationships. Let's dive into what each love language means and how it can manifest in your daily life. Words of Affirmation If your primary love language is words of affirmation, you cherish verbal acknowledgments of affection. Compliments, sweet text messages, and heartfelt notes mean the world to you. You feel loved and appreciated when others express their feelings for you in words. Remember, the power of language is immense for you, so both positive and negative words can have a deep impact. Acts of Service For those who resonate with acts of service, actions truly speak louder than words. You feel most loved when someone goes out of their way to make your life easier. It could be as simple as bringing you a cup of coffee, doing chores, or helping you with a project. These acts of service symbolize care and devotion for you. Receiving Gifts If receiving gifts is your love language, it doesn't mean you're materialistic. You treasure the thoughtfulness and effort behind the gift. Whether it's a small souvenir or a grand gesture, 
you feel acknowledged and appreciated through these symbols. Gifts are physical reminders of love for you. Quality time. Those who value quality time crave undivided attention. It's all about spending time together, engaging in meaningful conversations, or doing activities that you both enjoy. You feel connected and cherished when someone invests their time and presence in you. Distractions, postponed dates, or failure to listen can be particularly hurtful. Physical touch. Lastly, if physical touch is your primary love language, nothing speaks more deeply than appropriate touch. Hugs, pats on the back, holding hands, and thoughtful touches can all be powerful ways to convey love. You feel loved when you receive physical signs of affection, which can be grounding and reassuring. Why knowing love, languages matters. Enhances communication. Recognizing your own love language and that of your loved ones aids in expressing affection more effectively and understanding each other's needs better. It's a powerful tool for nurturing your relationships. Strengthens bonds. When we understand and speak each other's love languages, we create deeper emotional connections. It's like unlocking a secret code that transforms everyday interactions into meaningful expressions of love. Reduces misunderstandings. Often conflicts arise from unmet emotional needs. By understanding the different love languages, we can address these needs more precisely, reducing misunderstandings and fostering harmony. Personal insight. Knowing your love language also offers self-awareness, helping you understand why certain gestures or words impact you more profoundly than others. It's a journey into your emotional landscape. Adapts to various relationships. Love languages aren't just for romantic partnerships. They apply to friendships, family dynamics, and even professional relationships making them versatile tools for improving interactions across all areas of life. Remember, everyone expresses and receives love differently. Your love language can guide you in understanding your needs and communicating with your loved ones more effectively. Embrace your unique way of loving and be open to understanding the love languages of those around you. This knowledge is a powerful tool in strengthening any relationship. If you would like to know about your love language or maybe that of another in more depth, check out our video on love languages. Affiliate link in description to the book. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos for self-discovery.